Hi, I'm Ray S. E. Ambry. You have just been through a very lengthy budget process in your municipality, and you know how difficult it is to find the money to support those capital projects that you want to undertake. And with the promise of more infrastructure dollars flowing from the federal government, uh, it's even more important to find ways to make those dollars stretch as, as far as possible. So before you start your next capital project, I want you to do life cycle costing. As a matter of fact, I want you to do life cycle costing before you start each of your major capital projects. Life cycle costing is a tool and a process that allows you to measure uh, the benefits of uh, the capital dollars versus the long-term replacement cost down the road. Uh, there are trade-offs between the quality of materials that you use up front and what you pay up front as compared with the long-term recurring costs of maintenance and replacement of those assets over time. For example, what's the uh, benefit of uh, concrete uh, versus asphalt? Obviously one's more expensive than the other. But what's the downstream benefit of using one material versus another? Or what about using uh, vinyl liners in your pool versus tiles in your pools? Uh, those also have different cost implications on the capital side as compared with the downstream uh, maintenance costs uh, that you're going to incur in the future. The difference over the life of the asset can be substantial and you need to know what the trade-offs are before you embark on your process because you are going to be responsible for the ongoing replacement and maintenance of those assets long after those uh, capital investments, the grant money has been exhausted. So if you'd like more information on this topic, please visit our website, infracycle.com, send me an email, or call my office.